Noticed you didn't share anything today. Yeah, I, I don't even need to be here. I'm here for my friend. Your friend, yeah, I get it. Well, if your friend changes their mind, we'll be here. No, you don't get it. If I just get it done, we can, I can do this. No. Harry, you have to trust this, me. No, there's a group I need you to see. It's not impossible. Don't start. I have started and I have a starter. A fire type. You're not sleeping, you're not eating, you've got to take care of yourself. The only thing I've got to... Don't, don't say I've it. got to catch them all. And if you don't believe that, if you're not here to support me, you can just get out. No, no. Dan, Dan, no, Dan, Dan. Harry, <sighs> Harry. What happened? It's over. No, I've done it. No, you, no. you haven't eaten Listen, in death. listen. Oh. I've caught them all. It's over. It's over. We're done. I'm done, I've done it. Do you know what this means? I'm free. Uh, if I send them the screenshot, now we can get the, we can get, the, we can get clean water, Harry. We can finally get clean water again. It's been so long. I haven't washed him in, in, feels like years. It feels like years. What? Harry, what? No. No! Introducing Pokemon Up and Down with all new regions to explore and 800 new Pokemon to catch, including your two new legendaries, Pogup and Yodin. <laughs> Welcome to the Loot Drop. This is it, the big one. It's our ABC Gamer 2022 Game of the Year special. I'll be joined by a couple of friends and we're all gonna try and justify which game deserves the crown, the throne, and all the glory. But first, a look back. 2022 has been a relatively quiet year for video games, but what a year for gaming news. There was so much news, both barely and proper. So much that I thought I'd compile it all into a little rhyme for you. Fortnite took out building in 2022. None of us went to E3, not me or even you. Got cancelled. We went to PAX in the Bethesda Showcase and had such a blast. We thought Kojima would release a game, but instead it's a podcast. Both Pokemon and Overwatch 2 left a lot to be desired. Call to the Lamb won so many awards, it deserves to be admired. Ubisoft Plus's subscription service got a mixed response. Ubisoft is a French company and in France they eat croissants. Breath of the Wild 2 is actually Tears of the Kingdom. Starfield got delayed, which is kind of fair. Dinkum. Netflix is making games and they might be on the cloud, but probably not in Australia where fast internet's not allowed. EA dropped the FIFA brand and the Google Stadia died. God of War Ragnarok released, and the story made me cry. Heaps more happened this year, and there's plenty more to come. 22 was okay, but 23 will be way more fun. <sighs> Thanks, Harry. 2022, what a year. So many delays, so few games. But with a smaller pool of games to play, that actually makes picking Game of the Year a bit spicier, don't you reckon? Pretty damn spicy. Like none of us here at ABC Gamer agree on which game should win Game of the Year this year. 
I feel like the only way to decide Game of the Year here at ABC Gamer is to host a round table style battle royale where we all get a chance to pick our favorite and explain why it deserves Game of the Year status. I'll start. First up for Game of the Year is God of War Ragnarok. Ah! <laughs> Ragnarok showed us how good sequels can truly be. You hear that, Overwatch? Take some notes. Ragnarok had it all. Chunky combat, jaw-droppingly beautiful scenery, a beautiful and heart-wrenching story, character development with a progression system that improves upon one that was already amazing. I never 100% a game, but I'm in the middle of 100%ing this one. Game of the year for sure. Next up, Elden Ring. Okay, Joe, Elden Ring is good, but it's not as good as Ragnarok, right? I'm sorry, but Elden Ring is hands down game of the year, and it's not even close. What a sprawling masterpiece. Its truly massive world was full of intrigue around every corner, drawing you down rabbit hole after rabbit hole of glorious, grotesque, dark fantasy, all layered and soaked in over a decade of refined Soulsborne combat and progression, like some kind of terrifyingly delicious tiramisu that you just can't stop eating. No game this year came anywhere near to worming its way into my head and my heart like Elden Ring did. And I know I'm not alone in that. Game of the year for sure. Yeah, Elden Ring game of the year for sure. Next up, Marvel Snap! So Jordan, Marvel Snap's not as good as Elden Ring, right? Um, actually it was my game of the year. It dominated so much of my free time that I actually had to uninstall it to get the rest of my life back. The addictive three minute games, plus variety of randomized locations, made this a welcome breath of fresh air in the PvP card game space. Yeah, game of the year for sure, I reckon. Next up, Vampire Survivors. So Rad, Vampire Survivors is not as good as Marvel Snap, right? I absolutely agree with you. If you're someone that hates everything that makes games great, because Vampire Survivors is a pure gaming experience. It's not trying to dazzle you with like pretty graphics or snappy gunplay or even a killer story. It is just walking. Walking on a 2D plane while you fling attacks at enemies that just trundle towards you. And it's glorious. But that is not to say that it's empty or vapid or thin. It has more secrets than Gretchen Wiener's hair. And I have played literally 80 hours of this game and there is still stuff that I haven't seen. There are still moments that happen on screen that make me yell, what is this game? And it costs about as much as a very expensive coffee. Very, very expensive. Maybe two normal priced coffees. But that is a small price to pay for a direct activation of the brain's dopamine centers. It's like medicine. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what? Vampire Survivors does deserve game, game of the year. Give me that. I reckon it deserves no, it. No, Elden no, Ring is good, no, but when you look at that, take a dump No, guys, guys, stop fighting! Is this what Game of the Year is really about? Fussing and fighting? Joe, you love Elden Ring because you're really good at video games and Elden Ring's super hard. Jordan, you like Marvel Snap because you love card games and anything Marvel makes. Rad, you're so good at making efficient killing machines and min-maxing stats, which is why you like Vampire Survivors. And me, I love God of War Ragnarok because it's a complex dynamic between a father and a son. Guys, Game of the Year isn't the be all and end all, it's just a rung on a ladder. And you know what? I think every single game we pick deserves Game of the Year. Whether you're young, old, good at games or bad, we at ABC Gamer would like to wish you a happy Game of the Year and thanks for watching. I do think Marvel Snap is Game of the Year though. No, Elliot, that's not Get out of here. You don't even. That's people. Jordan? Jordan? Don't just throw that at the end. Oh, your gaming is That's the loot drop. Excellent Thanks game. to everyone who I watched and commented, and we'll be back oh. next year with even wilder oh. antics and sillier sketches. Oh. Bye! I never 100% a game, but I'm in the middle of 100%ing this one. Game of the Year for sure. Ne <laughs> I'm sorry, this is our workplace. <laughs>